Hello, everybody. This is Zerta with Zerta MTG, and I'm back at it again today with some more legacy gameplay. Uh, just testing out Sneak and Show a little bit more, making sure that I'm uh, completely up to snuff with the deck before I hop on into a league. Um, Want to make sure I'm not just going to make a million misplays and regret joining. The legacy scene on uh, Magic Online is quite intense, and if you uh, aren't up to snuff with what you're doing, you're going to get eaten alive. Alright, so let's take a look at this hand. Have a sneak attack, have a ponder, have fast mana. That's a turn 3 sneak attack with a turn 4 uh, potential to do something. I don't think that's good enough. I'm going to mull. Okay. Um, Emrakul Gristlebrand double cantrip makes me tempted because I'm just looking for a show and tell to drop that Gristlebrand into play. Um, um, I'm going to keep this off of the back of uh, two uh, cantrips. I'm going to get rid of Emrakul. I'd rather show and tell in a Gristlebrand. I'll lead on Preordain. It looks as deep as Ponder, except it makes my next draw step better if it was a bad Ponder. And I have a fetch for the Ponder anyway. Opponent leads on Scrubland into... Is this Enchantress? Green Sun, okay. Is it Maverick? Could be Green White... Green White uh, Depths. I remember that is actually a thing, now that I'm thinking about it. Started right at the end of... Or uh, right before, I should say. Quarantine started, so I didn't get to see too much of it. At least start showing up in my local meta. I guess I'd be happy pitching to Ponder to Force. Need to really turn off those notifications. Well, <laughs> hell. Um, alright. Put on top, and I'd rather draw you first in case of discard. Turn three, uh, here we come. Omniscience with Gristlebrand in play. Whew, sign me right up. Hmm, do we ponder? I don't think there's anything we could ponder into, and I'd rather keep ponder around for force fodder, just in case. Six my way through their turn. Just in case I don't hit anything that I'd like to uh, actually pitch, I'm going to just go ahead and let my opponent do their thing. It's kind of unfortunate for them that the green sun just happened to be a land drop, not even a ramp, because they missed their next land drop. Oh, taking damage. They still don't know that we're combo. They're going to find out really quick next turn, though. <clears throat> and again, Preordain does kind of give that away. I forgot that's not just a typical cantrip. Um, yeah, no, that's something I'm willing to force, because it stops me from uh, winning next turn. And... Even if my videos don't exactly show it, I do actually enjoy winning. Now, if only I could start doing it. In for one, I guess. No reason not to. And a million reasons to do so. We will not be finding a red source just to try and conceal as much information as possible once again. I think they... Ah, oh, there we go. I was going to say, I think they are regretting all of their life choices that led them to playing against a person who puts a filthy card like Show and Tell into their deck. Alright, here's hoping nothing goes terribly wrong. I'm going for the greedy play that's more likely to beat the Caracas, but less likely to beat something like Knight of Autumn, by which I mean will 100% lose to Knight of Autumn. Alright, Mother of Runes. I still don't know if they're Depths or if they're Maverick, ironically. Because all of them can play all the cards I've seen. Or sorry, both of them. There we go. Hmm. If I whiff, then I die. So instead... Dead, let's ponder. Any order, that's an instant shuffle. And there we have it. The game. Isn't she beautiful? Just lethal in the skies. Alright, and on to game two. Hmm, so against Maverick... I'm going to want Pyroclasm. 
I don't think I want Grafdigger's Cage for just Green Sun Zenith. Um, maybe... No, I don't think I want the Cage at all. Obviously, I want to keep the return there for a Wish target. Um, and everything else, I think, is just better left in the board. Um, I think this is... I think we... Uh, board against them the same way we do against goblins. Minus one Fluster Storm, plus one Pyroclasm. Alright, and we're back. And, uh, well, if one of those was a soul land, I'd consider it, but not very seriously. So we're gonna mulligan. And we're gonna mulligan this one. Uh, we might have a decent amount of ramp. We might have a Black Lotus worth of ramp. But that doesn't let us bring in either Grizzlebrand or Emrakul on turn one, so mull away. You know what? We're keeping, because we can't go much lower. And uh, this is actually a pretty decent one. Goodbye, Cunning Wish. Intuition. There we go. want to keep the cantrip so I can actually do anything. Hopefully I don't need to find a... Uh, blue or red source on turn one. Hmm. Okay, opponent. Gonna draw a card before I commit to anything. Knight of the Reliquary. Okay. Ancient Tomb, but I have nothing to put in with it. I'm gonna find an island and ponder. case of discard, I'm going to draw the ponder first. So that I can pitch it to force. Are they really hoping I just show and tell? I'm starting to think that they are. Caracas, okay. I think that's what their plan was. They kept entirely on the backs of Caracas in case of show and tell. Um, alright. I see your plan now, and why play into it? When I can, uh, really throw a wrench into everything instead. Alright, so, brainstorm last. Then omniscience, but first Volk. No, I shall not shuffle. I'll even play the Volcanic Island in case they're also sandbagging a wasteland. Here's the thing. You can't just keep a Hand of Disruption against a deck like this. If you're not putting a clock on us, we're going to see what you're doing, and we're going to play around it slowly but surely. Now... Hmm... I'm going to show and tell this turn. I'm going to put in the omniscience. No, those statements are not necessarily true. I'm going to brainstorm this turn. Because I want to see if I can find a way to protect myself from um, a Night of Autumn. Good enough for me, I guess. I'm going to show and tell in, I think, actually, Gristlebrand. So that I can just draw a bunch of cards and go from there. Yeah, because next turn I have the Omniscience anyway, and this will basically bait out their Knight of Autumn, which I think is what they're going to put into play. They have a way to blow up Omniscience. And they had a way to uh, bounce Gristlebrand. So, let's see exactly what they decide to put on down. Script Ranger. Really? They didn't have a way? Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Suppose I'm going to draw seven at least. I am not dropping the three. Seven should be. Far more than enough. Cast Lotus Petal. 
and uh, yeah, move to discard. A volcanic island, a ancient tomb, and what else? Suppose I don't really need the brainstorm. How much do I actually need that fetch land? How much do I actually need that sneak attack? There we go. I think that just proves it's safe to go for the Omniscience next turn, unless my opponent is really, really on the next level. I'll be dropping to two on my turn. From Gristlebrand Draws. Green Sun for two? Okay. What could this be? I thought Gothic Teague, but... Oh, yeah. Okay. I do not mind Gothic Teague. In fact, I think that just means that uh, I'm going to wait even longer still and just Pyroclasm. Yeah. I think a Pyroclasm is now my best line. Right? Or can I do both? I can do both, I think. Indeed, I can. So let's find a basic mountain. By which I mean a volcanic island. Lead on Pyroclasm. This will let me um, cast Force of Will if they were to try and uh, put something with a trigger in that they'd be able to respond to using Scrib Ranger to untap something. I'll be dropping the Emrakul first off of the Omniscience. There we go. And they already know about the Gristlebrand, so this should just prompt the concession. All right, moving into combat on my next turn. Let's see. And there we have it. Game. I don't imagine they're going to survive a uh, swing from Bristlebrand Emrakul at a mere 19 life. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and would mean a lot to me.